It's got a huge gun, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a cannon. You know what I mean? Not the cannon, cannon. Hey, what's up, everybody? So I got update for y'all. Maybe some of you have already knew. I've been using 24 to 70 millimeter lens from Nicole. But here's a great update or upgrade. I got Tamron 70 to 200 millimeter, uh, f2.8, and then G2. So it's a great uh, telescopic lens that I wanted. And let's see what it's got in there. So pretty much like what you call it. The thing. There it is. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's a really heavy lens, by the way. This is how it looks. It's got a wear and tear. The lens is clean. No mold. Nice. Steady. Got a little dust in there. Bruh. See, this is really like minimalistic design. Sleek. Looks almost, almost like a, what do you call it? Mirrorless lens. Nice. It's got an Alka Swiss. Yep, so far. This is a great, uh, clean lens. I think for a price, it's a great buy. I paid about almost 800 bucks for this one. It's used. This is the first time actually uh, to use anything other than Nikon lens. So we see how this guy handles uh, all these pictures. Well, I'm pretty sure this is a great lens for uh, street photography nature landscape not for abandoned building we want to review some of the pictures i've been taking in downtown tokyo so this is a guy standing in staircase going down and uh, look at this uh sharpness pretty good uh it was iso 6 160 200 millimeter so that's maxed out and uh aperture is wide open 640 and this is the picture of a building. As you can see, it's very sharp. Look at this. But that's like, how far am I zooming in? It's quite far into it. And then still, it's great uh, detail on it. That's crazy. So that's uh, 122 millimeter. So it does have more room to zoom in. That was at the station, I saw a cool mask. So, the setting was, as you can tell here, it hasn't been edited yet, so it's gonna be a great uh, lens to take uh, portrait pictures. And this was uh, on monorail, and that's a monorail track. Look at this, uh, 170. Depth of a field is a pretty good dude. That's for sure. And that's kind of hazy, dreamy picture because of uh, the reflection on the water and the setting, as you can tell. Very good. Good pictures. Very sharp. And that's the uh, picture of an ocean, I believe. And look at this depth of field. This is just so amazing. It's pretty uh, clear and sharp. That's a very good lens, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's how it looks like. Wow. You can even see some hug here. And uh, there's some big. Ooh, went too far. And nose. <laughs> Man, look at this. But it gets better. There we go. Wow. What that? Look at this. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Look at that. Zoom thing. Cause I can. And then still this clarity on the picture reflection that's crazy it's insane right here yeah 
great great lens and the clarity does decrease as it gets darker but still this is a very acceptable and it took uh iso uh, 6400 it's pretty cranked up and then your 60s but still it's a great uh shot right here and picture of a ball <laughs> And then again going back to the uh, subway. And then this is the Tokyo Tower. This is crazy, yo. It's a very clear and sharp. Vivid. Look at that. So that's the uh Pretty much my lens review. And then you see uh, the picture of the, uh, the place. Yep, that's it. It's not as sharp as others, but it's a night.